Hi and welcome back. So I'm going to follow on uh, giving another quick demonstration with regards to the list lookup functionality and tie that in with dashboards uh, with the new Logger ArcSight Logger version 6 product. Um, so in a previous uh, quick demonstration I talked about the list lookup functionality. Uh, it's actually, if I just drop my little drop down there it gives me the history there and if I just click on the history there I can go back to my previous search that I've done just to bring up uh, my little table with regards to uh, what's gone. Now just a very quick run through on this one. Uh, if you want to look at it in more detail please look at the other video that talks about this. Uh, but specifically here uh, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, non arc site events. We're actually looking for checkpoint events with uh, a transport protocol of TCP. Then we're looking that up into our little uh, list based on a port number and the destination port. We're giving it an extra name. That's just where the name comes from. And then in this particular case, we're actually just sticking it into a top 10. Uh, in fact, in this case, there's only four different types of events in the in the limited data that I have. Uh, and uh, we're just displaying that into a chart. Now, actually, I'm interested in uh, the last um, 24 hours worth of data. Uh, so there'll be more in there. And it's a bit more useful from a dashboard point of view. Uh, so, yeah, just quickly rerun that one. Hey, presto, there's my dashboard. So. What do I do next? Well, actually, what I want to do is I want to save this. So I can actually just save that. Just click the Save button. I want to save this particular search, uh, but I want to save it as a dashboard panel. So I just select the dashboard panel, and it updates there. So the, the, the panel type title here is uh, TCP protocols. I want to give it a new uh, search for the actual search that I'm using. So TCP protocols search. Uh, I want to put that into a new dashboard which is traffic analysis. Uh, what do I want to display it as? Do I want to do it as a chart? What type of chart? Do I want to do it as a pie? Uh, because it's a top it's actually given me uh, a 10 there. I can change that if I wanted to but actually I'm only interested in the top 10 anyway. So I will save that as a dashboard panel and save do I wish to replace that? Yes, I do. And there we go. Uh, actually, what I want to do is I just want to change this as well. I want uh, UDP as well. So I'm actually just going to quickly edit this particular search. I'll open my UDP ports. Uh, and I'm going to output the destination based on the UDP port search. Uh, let's just run that to make sure it's working. Hey, presto, there's a whole lot of stuff. OK, and again, all I'm going to do is just save that, save as a dashboard panel. So panel name is UDP protocols. Uh, search name is UDP protocol search. I'm not going to put it into my existing dashboard. I could put it into a new dashboard. I can put it in my existing dashboard there. Uh, actually, I want to do a pie. And again, like I say, because I'm doing a top, it's doing the top 10. Uh, so that's where that number's coming from. So uh, I want to save that. Yes, I want to replace. So that's saved. Uh, so, okay, well, what does that mean? What does this do? Well, the great thing is if I share now, just jump to my dashboards panel. Uh, dashboards menu here, so it comes up with the with the uh, uh, the first one here, which is the monitor. But if I drop that down, I've got this new dashboard that says traffic analysis. I click the dashboard for that, and I've got my two panels. I can add more, of course, but I've got my two panels now that list out the TCP protocols and UDP protocols based on those two searches that I've done. The important thing is that those are 24-hour uh, uh, searches on the data, and you see how quickly it very uh, it displayed that data. Uh, and of course, it's going to refresh that on a regular data, uh, regular basis as well. Uh, as with all dashboards as well, I, I can actually drill down on this information as well. So what? jumps out instantly at me is this trin2 so that's clearly not not a, a valid set of data uh, so i can actually just uh, click on that uh, it, it then puts the search automatically into my analyze and for the search uh, and automatically does that search on the data period that i'm looking for and hey presto there's all my return data in fact actually there's 203 events there uh, i need to go through and start doing some analysis on that and investigating it accordingly so you can see very easily uh, from a dashboards i can just uh, uh, simply bring a lot of that data together make it much easier to view and of course i'm doing the lookup to add 
additional valid data to it uh, and to add it a little bit more information for allowing me to make some of those decisions rather than just numbers that's in the actual parse data itself. Anyway, that's enough for me. I uh, hope that was a good quick demonstration again of using uh, the lookup functionality, uh, putting it into a dashboard uh, and just using that to do very quick investigations. Anyway, thank you very much.